what's the crack lads welcome back to another player pack review today we're taking a look at the epic liverpool players we've got gerard we've got torres and we have xavi alonso as well so look i mean xavi alonso is an interesting player because of his base stats are really good for passing torres a little bit disappointing i think because of his lack of pace but we'll get into that in a second and then stevie g probably one of the best box-to-box -box players in the game right but we'll get into that we will also have very quick training guides separate to this video as well because a lot of people like those to see different versions so we'll have three versions of Gerard, we'll have two of Torres and we'll have three of Xabi Alonso but getting into the actual review of these cards we're going to start with a Torres who is probably the pick of these on the surface because obviously you know what you're going to be getting with Gerard, and there is an abundance of centre midfielders that can play his role so Xabi Alonso the same but Torres man he's a disappointing card I'm not going to lie he's a disappointing card I think with these players, when they're bringing them out, I just don't know, man. I mean, the epic version of Torres that is there, um, there's another epic on the database um, and in-game. Obviously, he is going to have the unwavering form. This card only has standard form. Um, it is from the Liverpool season of 2007-2008. So, I mean, this card, I think, in my opinion, should have been better, lads. And that's coming from a Manchester United fan. Um who's still hurt about a 7-0 drubbing that Liverpool inflicted on United uh, earlier in the season. So, like, I, I don't know, man. It's just one of these things that sometimes with the cards, I think they overthink the cards, and I think that they just try and make the cards too balanced. I definitely think that Torres should have had fairly good speed. I know he probably was faster in previous seasons compared to the 7-8 uh, season, but, you know, if they were going to give this card, I definitely think they needed acceleration at a starting base of at least 75 right it is at 70 at the moment he's a very interesting card because his balance is what more than makes up for it right he's got fairly high balance usually players that are taller than 185 centimeters he's 186 will have low balance so think the likes of Haaland thinks the likes of Oshiman those type of players Benzema even they don't have excellent balance and they don't have great tight possession on the ball if they do have those stats, they're really slow. So Torres is kind of like a blend between both of those. And it is going to be interesting to train him up. It's going to be interesting to see what he handles like in game, you know, in the box in you know, passing the ball. He does have some uh, interesting player skills as well, such as first time shot and one touch pass. So if you're not passing the ball off straight away with first time pass um, or one touch pass, then you should be shooting on sight with first time shot and with the finishing stats that he does have. But the B rating, um, the player skills, double touch, all that sort of stuff, I think just would have been, like, this card would have been godly, I think, if his acceleration went up to at least 85, 86. And we're going to show you a trained up version of him here. As I said, I will be bringing individual training guides for these cards as well, because they are kind of unique, right? But we have maxed him out here at the 96 overall. I wouldn't train him this way myself, personally. I think that he's he there is better a better version of him there, which we'll show you um, in the other video. But speed, acceleration, you're not going to get that up. Even if you, right, we've got pumped 12 into dexterity, right? Even if we say, right, I'm actually a good finisher. I don't need, you know, that many points into that. And I don't need dribbling to be as high as it is. We're going to pump in... Uh, two more into dexterity to bring up his his acceleration right you're still only going to get it to 84 man like it's just it's a weird one right because i always remember torres is just like so so fast when he had the ball at his feet he was such a dangerous player when he played for liverpool and obviously i know um that there are faster players in the games and they want to balance that but when you take away from the dexterity or when you take away from everything else to get the dexterity up so high just to give his acceleration at 84 i do think that it just kind of like you know the tight possession is only 74 even at that his finishing is, is only at 86 so i would have liked to have seen a maxed out version of torres with 90 offensive awareness you know 86 87 finishing and then you know 90 balance um and maybe like 88 acceleration and i think that would have been an unbelievable card right low pass i'm not worried about that because he has first one time pass and the first time shot i'm not worried too much about the finishing or the header because that's gonna uh link up with the acrobatic finishing um we also have a couple of dribble skills as well there so you're not really going to be running with him but yeah, a little bit disappointing. I'm not going to lie, Les. A little bit of a disappointing card. Let me know what you guys think as Liverpool fans um, and even just as eFootball fans in general like using this card. Next up, we do have Stevie G, who we will go back to here. He is the, I would say, probably the pick of him. He is the epic big-time player. Um, he's got 33 levels to go, and this is from the May 5th, 26th of May 05 uh, game match day 
Uh, unwavering form as standard as is Stevie G one of the most consistent players that ever played for Liverpool and a beast of a player I have no problem in saying that I'm sure Liverpool fans would say that Roy Keane was a beast of a player as well regardless of whether you liked him or the rivalry or whatever but Stevie G was a you know a box to box demon man he was so good in in, uh, in real life and I think that they have captured this card, this card quite well there is a lot of different ways to train him up um speed and acceleration like he has the same base acceleration as torres which is a little bit strange and that's why i was kind of making the point but his balance is extremely low so that's where they you know pardon the pun that's where they balance the cards is with the balance the tight possession and the acceleration it's very rare that you will get you know cards nowadays um when e football 22 launched they did have that issue there that some players had like everything uh pretty decent and they had the height as well or they were good in the air but they've nerfed players like Haaland and nerfed players like Torres now with either having low acceleration and high balance or else low balance and good acceleration or speed. So it's just something to keep an eye on. But Stevie G, as you can see there, lads, he's got all the lower, the player skills that you could possibly want. And when we do max him out, I do think this is a very good version of him here. Um, It's very consistent with what you would probably want to get out of him. Now, I personally think that 12 into passing is too much, you know, especially when he has got the passing stats he doesn't have one first time pass or one touch pass i should say he does have first time shot low lofted pass and weighted pass but that one touch pass missing is a bit of a, a bit of an issue which is going to mean that if you are used to playing with that you probably will need to boost up um his low pass to at least 88 right and then obviously you're going to have to get that tight possession up depending on how you play depending on your play style but yeah it's all about being an engine man that's what stevie g was kind of known for being an engine man and obviously you know mixing it up box to box true box to box i think this card looks extremely good 88 ball control 88 low pass 87 aggression 98 kick and power 90 stamina and 85 speed he can do everything really well just that lack of one touch pass does kind of limit you a little bit in how you can play him um just a small bit just a fraction it's not game breaking i don't think or it's not like uh, that you won't need to play him because of that but it is just something that if you are used to using a lot of players with one touch pass um then you know it's going to be a small bit of a getting used to with that and then last but not least we have alonzo one of my favorite players obviously uh growing up he was a beast um when i saw him playing you know for spain and then obviously real madrid more so real madrid uh but yeah i mean what a player lads he's 23 years of old, years of age here uh he's got excellent player skills he's got standard form with b rating these players are going to be on b rating so you don't need to worry about the form at all with these players really uh one touch pass weighted pass low lofted pass but then he's also got interception and sliding tackle which is interesting because gerard doesn't have interception or sliding tackle i know he wasn't um you know a very dominant defensive player but some of the cards that they have in here i think you know should be a little bit better than what they are that's just my opinion but alonso has got some excellent stats excellent player skills and put that all together and you've got a very decent car from the 05 04 05 season one touch pass is the big killer with this one um in terms of you will not need to train up any of his passing now you can you can go ham on the passing and get it to 99 uh he's very easy to train up the passing because it's so op with him but i definitely don't think you need 99 passing with this card right so i will have a different guide to him than is shown here because we've just focused on lower body and defending for these uh, stat upgrades here right so there have been multiple versions of alonso i think this card is probably the most balanced in terms of how to train him um as an anchorman but yeah, I mean, you can get the passing up into the high 90s. Uh, you'll get the boost with that as well <clears throat> with his form arrow. But yeah, a very, very solid player. I think if you're using Zabi, Xabi Alonso, lads, you need to be very you need to be very set in your starting 11. I wouldn't be using a lot of sub tactics. I would be sticking to the tried and tested whatever position you want him to be in. I would stick anchoring on him and I would let him dictate that anchorman role DMF, right? I will, as I said, have a training guide on him for an attacking version, pass master, compared to an overall kind of like defensive kind of sit in the hole kind of rodri style um he's not going to have huge acceleration pace or stamina or balance they're all they're all going to be pretty low no matter how you train him but you can kind of bring him up in little areas that he does fall down on as well so 
that is it for the Liverpool Epic Legends uh, review, lads. I would say that they are probably worth a spin if you've got a couple of spare coins flying around. Um, but I am disappointed with the Torres card. I think Torres should have been rated a lot higher, especially as a 96 overall. You're thinking, wow, this guy's going to be able to compete with Eto. He's going to be able to compete with the likes of Mbappe. Um, and I don't think that he does. I know he wasn't like lightning in a bottle quick, but I just feel that they could have boosted the card just a smidge, just to give him that, you know, actual status of being one of the best you know kind of fast at his feet with the ball at his feet players so that's just my opinion let me know what you guys think and i will be back later we will have the live stream popping off at 3 p.m today until next time peace let me know your thoughts